it's Melanie Lane and it is morning. Good morning. I just got up. I have so many questions about how to insert an image and cut it, not print it. They're like, they want me to print. I don't want to print. I just want to cut it. They signed in. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go to upload image over here to the left. And we're going to go to basic upload. Vector upload is for SVG files. And we continue to step one and then we click browse. And I'm going to do this tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and do complex image and continue to step two. And this is a PNG, so the background is already gone for me. There's not really much I have to do. It was already done for me. Let's see what this cut line looks like. And it's really, really jagged. I'm using this as an example, and I'm probably not going to cut it. So this will probably take a while to cut all the little jaggedy pieces. It's a beautiful tree. And this would be really beautiful actually printed out. You could go around the edge and smooth it out if you wanted to. You could just go around and smooth the tree out a little bit so it doesn't have all those jaggedy edges. You can change the size of this. And smooth it all out. Just take those out there. Probably take a lot of that out there. Okay, but this is not why I made this, why I'm making this video. Okay, I'm gonna quit. But see, it helped smooth that out just a little bit. You can do that if you want. But I'm making this video so you can see how to cut it and not print it. So here, you can uncheck this and it will just be a solid color image that looks like this, however you saved it, okay? So that is one way of cutting without printing. But I would want to keep this just in case I wanna print it because it's so pretty. Okay. Change the name of this to just tree. Okay, so we're gonna put tree here. And we're gonna save the image. And we're gonna click on it here. Okay, it's beautiful like that, but I don't wanna print it. I just want the outline cut. So I want to cut this, but it has the printer icon. What do I do? I click on it and it will only allow me to print. So what I have to do is unflatten it. Now click on the printer icon and now you can change it to write it, score it, or cut it. Oh no, it turned it gray. Well, all I want to do is cut it around it. I don't want to print it, so it is going to change the color of it. And of course, you can make it any color you want, but that's what it's going to do if you just want it to cut out in a shape and do it on your paper or vinyl or any other material you want to do. And let's hit go, see what happens. There we have the tree to cut out instead of print. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! And here's a shout out to a few of my supporters on Patreon Kathleen Tilly, Jean Pettit, Sherilyn, Sharon Masuga, Colleen Sergensen, Tara Shoemaker DeFerbrock, Sharon Pugula, 
Sherry Kirkland, Janice Long, and Diane from Royal Scrapbooking Retreats. Thank you guys so much.